Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. Here we are, in Hooktail's castle. What I recommend you do first is walk the plank! No, really, you want to jump down here, go under this bridge, and there's a little platform here for you. Use coops, and you get an HP plus badge. It increases your max HP by 5, so it's sort of like having a level up without actually having the level up. Though, if I remember, it's pretty expensive in the BP department. Yeah, 3 BP. So, we're not going to be using that anytime soon, but I just thought I'd let you know that it's here. But we're going to want to go back around, if I can. Uh, you cannot go through the bottom route, as I just showed. So you're going to want to go back up here and use the paper airplane platform that we got. How convenient that our ever so specific curse is the only way that we could get through here. I've had times where I actually managed to get up there, but this is not one of those times and it doesn't really matter. Here we are in Hooktail's castle. At long last, Kid Knight and Beyond finally made it to this place. So, what do we got around here? We got a bunch of dry bones just hanging out over here. That's not an actual enemy. It's just a nice little decoration for us. And this is kind of gruesome when you think about it. You're just hanging out with all of his dead brethren. Uh, we do have a new enemy over there. So, for the sake of not wasting a turn, I'm going to switch to Goombella right now. And how the foe strike first? That wasn't fair. Uh, yeah, I did the super guard somehow. So we got a new enemy right here. Thankfully, Goombell's already out, so I don't have to waste a turn switching. Uh, we're gonna jump on the other one, though, just because Mario's out in the front, so we might as well. And Goombella, show us what this guy's all about. Because I have no idea whatsoever. It's such a unique new design that I have no idea what he's gonna be like. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kinda hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you could stomp on him and he'll plunge down to be a plain old Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. <laughs> uh, there's that, did not get the super guard. Now, like I said, the enemies, or the party members have their own individual HP, so we could switch over to Koops and we could have basically full HP again because Goombella and Koops do not share health. But it does waste a turn, which is unfortunate. Uh, can I get this? What's happened to my super guards? Come on, dude. Uh, maybe this is why I always had a difficult time with this game, because I never tried guarding. I always did super guards, and I wasn't good at it back then. Uh, that wouldn't have been useful anyway. So, I'm going to use this opportunity. Actually, is this... No, it's not a good time. It's going to use Koops' power shell, but since they're all standing up... Oh, wow, that was really bad. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that, and I don't know why I didn't use my quick uh, shell toss tactic like I normally do, but whatever. Uh, we're going to have Mario jump on the Koopa Troopa. This is actually a good opportunity for you to have the multi-bounce badge equipped. If you have them all, you just have Mario jump on every single Koopa, knocking them on their side, and then have Koops follow up with the power shell, it could get rid of them very, very quickly. But I don't have that equipped right now, so I just have to suffer. Have him attack. Thank you for the lucky. You could always count on that, except for the times where you can't count on that. Boing, boing. Uh, I sort of wanted to check to see if... Uh, Koops hitting from the side would affect its point of defense. I think it does, but I don't know. Just want to make sure. And Oh, wait, now I can check. So, switch to Koops. Seats do one damage or two? One damage. Okay, I was wondering that, like, if since Mario's hammer comes from above, even though it's a side thing, then would it be different from Koops' shell toss, which comes from the side instead of the top? I don't know. I just thought there would be some sort of intricacy to that, but there isn't. And what the fruit? I didn't even get to see anything. Okay, we were immediately thrown into another fight with these guys. I guess this might be. Nah, it's still not a good time to use it. The power shell, because it's not going to knock them over. And they got their point of defense. So, it basically just be doing one damage to each and every one of them. Uh, I was trying to do his uh, stylish thing right there. I kind of forgot that he had his own stylish thing. Can I stop getting hit by the enemies? We were, like, not even in the first room. And, and we're already down to 5 HP. Which is very, very not good. Got to get my game back up. See if we can do this. We're gonna want to do is press. Uh, Koops' saddle is just kind of difficult to do. It's just trying to remember the old swing of things. Hurry up and use the jump attack, and we are good. Hopefully, we won't have to show any more Koopa fights throughout here. Yeah, there's a lot of stinging Koopas in this area. They're probably the most threatening enemy in this area. And I sort of did the saddle. Uh, Koops has a follow up saddle though, so don't just mash A rapidly. There is another part to it that I've yet to show. 
Get all those. Now in this box right here, this is the badge that everybody loves. It is my favorite badge in the game and everyone else's. Da -da -da -da, the, the first strike badge. I swear I was not setting that up to be some sort of gag. What the fruit? We are down to three stinking HP. Koops can't do anything. Mario... Oh god. Well, this might be a good time to use an item. I'm gonna use a mushroom. You know what? Because like, I'm always stingy with items in RPGs. I'm gonna change that because I do not want to die right now. I have not... Well, actually, I saved right before this episode because reasons. But, um... I don't, just, I don't want to have to go back because that would be very lame. And, you know, I'm not going to use this in any boss fight or anything like that. I was thinking of using it for the boss of this area, but it's probably going to be a very dumb idea. So, uh, especially since most items don't work on bosses. So, we're going to use the mystery right now. I swear if it's a pow block, I'm going to be cranky. Honey syrup. Healed 5 FP that we haven't even used yet. Cool. And Koops is knocked over, hooray! Koops cannot guard when he's on his butt! That's really unfortunate that you all attacked Koops! Oh my god! Oh, jeez, these guys are jerks! Knock him on to his booty. Oh, Koops, can you please get up? Oh no, this is really bad, this is really stinking bad! Uh, Mario, you probably have to heal Koops. Oh no. He's in peril. If he dies, that's crummy. Uh, we'll go with it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but oh god. Do that. Fight like my life depends on it, because it kind of does. Uh, we'll knock over this guy. Oops, can you please get up? Thank you. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This is really stinking bad. Oh my god. Why is this fight so intense? It's like the beginning of the stinking game. Oh, when Kid Knight finally got here, he's just like, Oh, I'm happy and fun in the game, finally! And then he just meets up with all these evil stinking paratroopers. I do remember dying on them a million stinking times. Uh, we'll use the Shell Toss, I guess. I, I suppose, I don't know, it's not really that worth it to do it right now. As the timing for Koops' two st st uh, stylish attacks. There he is, stinking go. Oh, jeez. Oh, we are almost dead! That is, uh, we are almost... Oh, jeez. That's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, phooey. Let's have Mario jump. Uh, Koops. You gotta use another mushroom on Mario, because I can't have Mario die. If he dies, it's game over. The party members die, then you can still continue the fight, but it's not fun. Oh, boy. There you go. I'm really stinking stingy about that. What are you doing, Shy Guy? Where is he going? What the fruit was that for, you jerk? Oh, but we're electrified, so now enemies that make contact with us will take damage. Hooray! So I don't even need to super guard to do damage, which is fun, I suppose, but we took one damage in the process, which is not fun. Uh, what do I do? Jump on you. And then have Koops. I think we could actually follow up the Power Shell and have it be a not totally dumb attack this time. Power Shell, let's go! And there's the stylish for that. That was a really intense fight. Should not have been that intense right off the bat, but them's the breaks. Get the power block and get ourselves the power bounce badge. My stinking god. Power bounce. Everybody's favorite. It lets you go ahead and use bounces over and over and over again, sort of. It got very much downgraded from the first Paper Mario game. Originally, it was that, like, the more, the tougher the enemy, the less often you get to use it. So, like, you can never uh, defeat a boss in a single power bounce or anything like that. In this game, it's cut to like, you can only bounce on enemies like nine times and then it cuts you off. So, unfortunately, you can't be a power bounce pro like me who owns the world record of doing 99 power bounces or whatever and have it count. Hit this block to replenish your health. Yes, I want to do that. So, I came back here. Heal up. And I was wondering, does it... No, it does not increase the price. I thought it did originally, but no, it does not. Uh, but what I was saying, yeah. The power bounce is not as good as it was back in the old days, but is still very, very good. If we hadn't during that fight, it would have been really helpful, but unfortunately I missed out on it. Though I didn't have the BP to spend anyway, so I guess it's not too terrible. And I just realized that exiting the castle, uh, restocked the- Oh, it didn't count as leaving the castle because that area is still part of the castle, so these guys are still gone. Good. Oh, my stinking god, that was horrible. 
Uh, just go up here. Sorry, that was so atrocious. I remember those, uh, the Koopas right at the beginning being very difficult, but my god, I was hoping I would have some amount of experience from previous playthroughs that wouldn't have that happen. So just keep on going through here. Uh, we got nothing in here. A bunch of dead bones. But no, this one's different. It has blue shoes! Oh. Oh no! These bones... They remind me of my father. How do you know what your dad's bones look like? I don't know. There's... There's no doubt about it. It's my father! Dad! Um... Wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his... Ugh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, let's read it. Um, okay. I can do this. I, I'll read it. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Kerr and end with Ickit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist fails my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. How he thinks a pile of bones remind him of his dad, and I don't even know, it just makes no singing sense, but yeah. This is the father of Professor K from Paper Mario 1, which is thinking hilarious. Uh, you can go ahead and read the letter again if you want. The note about him being weak to something that starts with CR and ends with Ikit. In the Japanese version, it says he's weak to something that begins with FR and ends with AUG. And whatever that hint is, it's not actually required to beat Hooktail, but we'll see that soon enough, so let's just keep on going. And, uh, do these remind you of your father, Koops? Was he into blood baths by any chance? <laughs> Mamma mia! So many sprites! Oh my god, I can't handle it! The Nintendo 64 can't handle it, which is why we're on the GameCube. Um, what are they doing? Ouch! It's no use, Mario! They're all over me, man! What should we do? Uh, if you can just go back over here, they keep on trying to kick you out of the room, but we're not gonna let them. Just keep on hammering. Thankfully, we don't actually have to fight every single one of them. Just keep on hammering and get a cool effect of them flying all over the screen, which looks super duper cool. And eventually, we'll get over to the leader and start a boss fight. And they got a fire flower, which is not that fun, but we don't have to worry about it because Koops is on our side, and uh, they appear in the audience now. Yeah, as you progress through the game, the audience members will differ depending on what new characters and enemies you've met. So now we got dry bones, or rather, dull bones in the audience. Uh, I just realized Goombella isn't out and stuff, so we're gonna switch over to her and have her explain everything real quick. That is not explaining everything real quick. I don't know why I did that. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Since they're not attacking us physically, there's no point in doing a super guard since we won't be able to do damage to them. So I recommend just doing the regular guard unless you just want to avoid getting damage done to you. So I guess super guard is still sort of useful, but not as useful as other times. Goombella, explain these things please so I can get rid of you. Dull bones. <laughs> That's a dull bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP is one, attack is two, and defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements, too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. So this would be a very good opportunity to use Koops' power shell, but, but unfortunately he's not with us right now, so we can't do that right now. 
Also, I just remember that Sweet Treat exists, so I could have totally healed myself back there. Uh, soda can with a fruit. Get on out of here, Bone Daddy. Uh, what we're gonna want to do now is switch. Should I switch? You know what? I'm gonna use an item just because I never use items. Usually when I get all these items, I'm just all like, I never use them. I'm gonna throw them away because I always want healing items. I'm gonna use a Dizzy Dial, which I never really do. Whoa! I got two of them confused, so thankfully we could uh, possibly miss out on their attacks or not. And that one just misses. I wish it would hit him back in the face, like it would fly back around or something. Okay, we got that, and... Ouchies. Very, very bad. I need to hurry up and switch to Koops, so I'm gonna have... Uh, oh, wait, I have to have Goombella tattle the red bones. Like I said, we could just skip out on tattling the bosses, but Goombella does have unique text. Like, her tattle log is not the same as uh, the dialogue you get when you tattle them right here and now, so I kind of want to do this. I'm sorry for wasting so much time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I guess this is my way of having like a hard mode in this game. That's a red bones, a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Max HP is five, attack is three, defense is one. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to zero HP, it crumbles. It totally must revive. It totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones and then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. So, if we defeat the Red Bones first, then it will actually come back if the Dull Bones are still alive. So you need to end the battle when, uh, by getting rid of all the Dull Bones, and then have him be the only one left on the field, so when he faints, we can just get out of here. That is how that works. So I'm gonna swap over to Koops, and actually get this fight done and over with. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, getting that Super Guard, always good to practice. Uh, one HP of damage, thankfully, because Koops got that point of defense. Now, use the power shell! Get rid of them! My stinking god, I'm sorry that was so atrocious. Hopefully the later battles won't be as terrible. Nope, nothing, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use a power smash though. And we should be good to go. Except not really because I can't count, apparently. Just get that taken care of, and Koops, you can finish them off. And no, in case you're wondering, you can't keep on defeating the Red Bones over and over to get infinite experience. That's not how it works. And they are out of here. We are done with that, thankfully. Uh, nothing else in this room, it seems. All these other Dull Bones are no threat to us. And the fact that Dry Bones do are actual species in uh, Paper Mario stuff, so you think when a Koopa dies, they just become uh, Dry Bones. They can still hang out with them and interact with them. Maybe they got different personalities when they die, I don't know, but... I don't see the big deal. Dry Bones is a lot cooler than Koopa. But yeah, from here on out, you're gonna fight actual Dull Bones. They won't always be uh, room decorations anymore, so be on the lookout for those, I suppose. Uh, just have Koops use the Power Shell again. I'm using so much FP, I don't even know who I am anymore. And the fight's already over. Well, we're close to a level up, so it's all fine and dandy that we're using this FP. Got that taken care of. These guys aren't bothering us. They usually- Oh hey, this is our first instance of a Shine Sprite! Alright, so when we get three of these things, we could go back to Rogue Four and enter that Shine Sprite house with Merlon, and he will upgrade one of your party members, which is very nice. You could actually get three Shine Sprites in Hooktail's castle before um, the uh, boss happens, so if you want to backtrack- <clears throat> Excuse me, throat! If you want to backtrack all the way to Rogue Port so you have a bit of extra power uh, for the boss fight with Hooktail, you can, but I'm not going to do so because A, I'm impatient, and B, I don't think it's necessary. Get them corns, keep on going. There's a key up there if our text will disappear. There's a key that we need to get. Gee, I wonder how we're supposed to get it. I have no idea. Uh, if you go up here... Uh, we got those blocks, but what we're gonna do is hit this purple switch, make that appear. Uh, this one cannot move because that yellow block is blocking the way. Apparently, uh, it does have a weight limit. A block can't carry a block, but a block can carry a Mario. Take care of that. And what we're gonna do is use Koops' ability. Apparently, uh, I remember it was very quick for Kid Me to realize it, how to use it this time. So, just do that. Fly up here. Uh, don't think there's anything over there, so we're just gonna jump and get a star piece. A lovely piece of a star. Uh, go over here. Is there anything for us? There is not. 
Uh, oh, I remember. So that red switch that we saw before, it's actually like multiple different ways for that puzzle. That was just for the star piece. What we're going to want to do now is, now the block's out of the way, hit it right here. And, ZOMG, the stairs flip to the other side. Yeah, it actually isn't the way that I thought it would, what we would get. I thought we were going to use coops to get to the key. Wait, maybe we still do. Yeah, we use coops. There we go. Got the castle key. And then we just uh, go all the way back. I said go all the way back. I wish we could ride the stairs when it's doing the flip rooney but unfortunately not. Get on up here and into the next room. I said into the next room. <laughs> Way to ruin the dramatic tension. Uh, we are at somewhat of a, not midway point of the dungeon, that'd be a very short dungeon if that was the case. But there is a reason for that safe block being there. We'll get into that in a little bit, but right now I just want to keep going. That was really crummy. Oh, Koopa Troopas. That was a bit unfortunate, but something I was trying to say is that when Mario does his little hop when using Koops' thing, he grabbed a coin for us. When Mario does a little hop, you could actually have him uh, first strike by accident. He, that little hop counts as a jump, so there was a chance that the Paragoomba might have actually appeared underneath Mario at that point, which would have been funny, but we don't have to worry about it. Can I please hit this guy? Thank you. Got that taken care of. Now we got another puzzle that involves just holding coops in place so we could go back around. Uh, I guess I could show it off if you just uh, walk back around, then the gate will fall back down. So that's why you need to use coops. Explain puzzles before they actually show you what the puzzle itself is. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, we cannot go into those other cages, unfortunately. So we're just going to go over here. And hey, another inconspicuous black treasure chest. What the heck? Hey, guess it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec, if you could hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears could hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Oh! Hey, but seriously folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long and starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open this box? Ridiculous! Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I wouldn't do no such thing. But that would, that would, that, that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. So, this one's a bit more honest with us, at least. He said that we aren't the legendary hero, or that, like, we don't have a magical ability to hear him when no one else does. So, maybe he's, this guy's a bit more different. Maybe he's a lot more honest of a chap, and we don't have to worry too much. Uh, we just got this empty room. Nothing of importance in here aside for that one treasure chest and this one crack in the wall. Uh, seems simple enough, so let's just open it up. And get a black key! A strange black key, but what could it be used for? Uh, completing an evolutionary chain of Eevees? Hello! Um, M Mario, L look at that! Hello! Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! Gotta get out of here before the time runs out! Uh, as for that crack in the wall, just remember for later, and I can't believe I fell for that trap. Uh, get the heck out of here. The crack in the wall, we can't do anything about that right now. Just remember it for much, much later. Uh, come on, we already get out of here. It'd be really unfortunate if we actually lost this. I don't think I've ever actually failed this before. Did I just go in a circle? I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Okay, then. Please hurry up and get me out of here. Where? How, how the heck do I get out? How 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 do I get out? Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. 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 Oh. Oh. I actually died. I seriously died to this. Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you serious? I've never lost to this before. And I haven't saved because. Let's play. Well, not where I was expecting to get my first game over, but I guess it had to happen somewhere. I have to fight all those Koopa Troopas again. How about I save it for the next episode? Wait, question.
Is this one of those games where- No, I actually lost progress, so it's not just a matter of going back to the last save block, we actually lost all of our progress as well. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're not gonna fail a five-year-old's puzzle. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.